what is up guys and welcome back to new game plus today i'm gonna guys i'm gonna show you how to install um your ps vita games inside of the emulator vita 3k uh, for this video i'm gonna be using a jailbroken ps vita and i'm gonna show you step by step how to back up your games legally so you can make backups so you can install on the vita 3k emulator as you guys can see right here the game that we're going to be testing is going to be Tokiden. Uh, the game is, um, I tested it before, is not fully playable, but actually actually wor uh, works very well on the emulator. It does have a, a little bit of hic uh, hiccups here, here and then, but it actually works um, pretty well. Uh, the tools that we're going to need, let me switch to the other camera so you guys can see. What we're going to need is going to be the following. We're going to need to install Auto Plugin 2. Inside our auto plugins, we need to download the non non MP DRM by the flow and have it installed on your Vita. After you have that installed, the Vita is gonna restore to enable the plugin, and then we could take our next step. So we're gonna close this, and as you guys can see right here, the next step that we need to do is you need to go to your Vita shell inside of Vita shell. And we're going to be basically doing backups, like I said again, all your original PS Vita games. I already got my game counting here. Let me just show you real quick. That's the game count right there. Let me take it out so I can show you guys. This is Toe Keaton. That's my copy of the game that we're going to be creating the backup. And again, you're going to need a jailbroken PS Vita for this. So let me just put this back here. And I will have to close um, B, uh, Beta Shell so the cool store again. Okay, so now let me close Beta Shell. And then we're going to open Beta Shell one more time. Now that we know that the game is already loaded in there, we'll open Beta Shell. Click on Start. Okay. Inside beta shell, your games are always going to show up right here in this folder. It says GR 0 That's where your game cards are going to be showing. So what you want to do next is the following. You got to press on start and it's going to bring this menu right here. So right here, you're going to have different options. When you press select, it's going to connect to the memory card inside your PS Vita. It's going to show everything is inside of the memory card. The thing that we're going to do is we're going to switch this to game card. So it's going to show all the content inside of the game card right here. The reason why you need that, that plugin is because um, it's going to regenerate the license. So you can actually install the game on the beta 3K. Without that license, you will be able to run the game. Also, make sure you run the game once so it could generate that license after you have the plugin installed. So you have different options to do the transfer. You could either select um, USB or FTP for fastest speed because of this on testing. Uh, we're going to leave it at USB because it's going to be a lot faster. As you guys can see, I already have it plugged in on my computer. So we're going to leave it at USB and we're going to go back down. So now we're going to press select. It says USB is connected. And as you guys can see now on the other screen on the computer, this shoe opened up that's basically what we have we basically inside all the game card information it, um do not use this one even though it says the license is here it's not gonna work so pay attention to everything that i'm doing so you could get this working properly so now that we inside the game card we're gonna do the following let me go back here so i just getting stuff ready you're gonna go what it says right here we're gonna go on app this right here is the game title ID. We're going to click on copy. We're going to go to another folder in our computer. I mean, my download folder. It's just going to paste it right here. And it's going to start doing the whole process of copying the information over. I'm going to skip this right here. And then I'm going to go back to it when everything is done. All right. Now we're back. So now that if we finish copying the file, which you guys can see is already copied all the way here. Let me see if it's not going to send it all the way to the bottom. Oh, there we go. We had the file copy in here now. So now we need to close this. There we go. Now we got to press start again on our PS beta. And instead of game card, we're going to switch to 
memory card. Press start again, and we're gonna hit select. So, like I show you, your game is gonna be right here on the GR O zero. Now, when I switch to memory card, it's basically gonna switch to this folder here, UX zero. That's where all your information in memory card is stored. So now I'm gonna press on select to enable USB. This folder is gonna open up. So we basically install the folder that I should show you, the one called UX0. We install the folder. Now you need to look for the following folder, which this license is gonna be located at. This is the folder that we need to look for. Gnome PDRM. You're gonna open it up. You're gonna click on license. Inside of license, you're gonna go to app. And right here, so if we run the game before, you're gonna see the same folder. The one ending on 381 in the sample of this game that I'm making the copy. You're gonna see this folder. You're gonna look for that folder. There we go, it's this one right here, 3A81. This right here is the license key for the game. You, we basically gonna click on copy. After we click on copy, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna create a copy of the license just in case something get messed up. Now I'm gonna go back. And we're gonna paste that in here as well. There we go, that's the license right here. So now what we need to do is the following. We're gonna right click, I'm gonna rename the file, and you're gonna select everything. We're gonna rename the file to word.bin. So we're gonna rename again the file to word that bin as you guys can see right here and we're gonna click on yes to do the changes now we're gonna copy that file we're gonna copy it you're gonna go back inside the folder of the game and this is where you're gonna place your your license we don't need the, um, this right now so we're gonna exit out here and i'm gonna switch the camera all back to the main monitor all right let me just cancel this out Okay, now that we copy that file, the world that bin, you're gonna go inside of the game folder, which is transfer over. We're gonna open it up. Then you're gonna look for the following folder. You're gonna look for SCE underscore sys. You're gonna open that up. Then you're gonna go where it says package. Inside our package, this will, we're gonna paste our file right inside of this folder. We're gonna paste it in here and it's done. Now we're gonna go back again. We're gonna go back to the main room where we have a folder located. And this is the next step right here. Let me copy the address for this. It's on the down, um, my download folder. We're gonna copy this. I like to use um, 7-zip to compress my files. So that's uh, what I'm gonna use right now. So we're gonna right click. I'm gonna go on show more options. Let me see if I can open it with 7 zip from here, or I will have to run the program manually. Send to you could do set to compress folder, but sometimes when I do this, it's cause me an error inside of Beta 3K, so that's why I prefer to use 7 zip for this. And uh, you could get that free on the Microsoft Store, so you could get it from there. So let me open 7 zip. So open. Go look 7 zip. Seven zip. We're gonna go to the download folder. We are already on the download folder. Now we're gonna look for the game. We got the game located right here, and now we're gonna do the following. We're gonna right click on this game. We're gonna click on seven zip, and we're gonna click where it says add to that zip. We're gonna click on that. Now it's compressing the file into that set folder. The only way to install games inside the beta 3K is either using a DAPZ, a PPK, or a PKG. 
But as we're doing our own copies of the game, we're gonna use the Dotsip method to install our games in Beta 3K. Okay, that was pretty fast. So now that that's over, you're gonna see this folder inside here, which is your game. We're gonna copy the directory again. We're gonna copy this and inside of Beta 3K. We are going to open Beta 3K. We're gonna go right here top corner, top left corner. Sorry about this that I have on this place. It's gonna say file. You're gonna go there and you're gonna go to this option here, install the zip. So we're gonna go here. You're gonna select file and we're gonna paste our directory download. And as you guys can see right here, this is the file. This is the game that we compress into that into the that zip folder. We're gonna click it and we're gonna click on open. So as you guys can see, Beta3K is doing the installation of the game right here on the folder. It is scripting all the files. It is able to do that because it had uh, the license key. So now uh, we just gotta wait until that full install. It could take a few seconds or maybe a few minutes depending how big the game is. This game is not a, it's not that bad, but it has a lot of files in it. So it's just gotta check everything in order to install properly. Okay, after everything is successfully installed, you're gonna see this message and they're gonna ask you, you wanna delete the file, but I'm gonna leave it a no and I'm just gonna click on okay. Now inside here, now you could see right here the game, Tokiden it's already installed so now i'm gonna boot up the game so you guys can see that it was properly installed but remember the game is not fully fully compatible so i recommend you guys to always always check the compatibility list everything's gonna be down below in the video description so you guys can check everything but as you guys can see if we right click on the game and we compatibility says it's unknown and you could check by clicking here and it's gonna open the compatibility um section here on the beta 3k website and there's no information on this game because they probably tested a different version of the game so if i uh, let's see if they're so hidden you see they tested different versions of the game like this one right here is um the one that i have but it says menu but actually, let me show you real quick. Let me go back here. We're going to do some changes on the configuration for the game. GPU, you can select the my GPU. I'm going to upscale it to see if it runs properly. We're going to have 4x, 16 right here. Save, and we're going to close this. And now we're going to launch the game. Now boot, now it's booting the game. Uh, the first time that you run the games, it's going to start compiling some shaders and stuff like that. So it might take a little bit time doing that. But as you guys can see, because the game is not fully compatible, you might see errors like this, like that mini your screen right here. So I'm actually going to go back and test it on default resolution. I'm going to test that back on default resolution. I'm gonna go over here, custom edit configuration. We're gonna go to GPU. We're gonna, oh, by the way, I'm running everything on bulk and backend. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. And we're gonna go to 1X, save, and we're gonna boot it on default resolution. You see, as you can see right here, after I boot it on default resolution, I actually have a full screen now of the game. So upscaling right now is NAS working properly in here because you were having like little small screen here but as you guys can see the game is actually running and i didn't have any errors because i actually installed the game properly and as you guys can see the game is running uh there's some games that will run properly or maybe in like 50 60 percent of the time but again that needs to be a lot of testing needs to be done for this to um, work properly. Uh, I will say this uh, emulator is still on early development, but it's so far everything that I've been playing here has been amazing. And this is one of the game that it says is unknown for the compatibility, but it actually 
is you play i played it before is you play it on native resolution you could actually be able to emulate the game here uh it got some audio glitches but as you guys can see let me get this on full screen the game's actually look pretty decent it's running on again it's running on the default resolution i can't do the any upscale as of now because the um, the graph is going to be a little bit more glitchy if i do so so right now i can really do any upscaling but as you guys can see the game is running at 30 frames per second And it looks like this because again it's running a default resolution and I'm running the game in a 1440p display, so that's why it's probably a little pixelated. But if you look at this on the Vita, it actually looks pretty nice. So let me exit here. And as you guys can see, you pull the screen a little bit smaller, you can actually see that it actually looks a lot better. So we're gonna close this, we're gonna test it uh, at least 2x to see how it does and with this, I'm going to conclude the video. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, please remember to like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, leave it down below. And I also have my own um, my own Discord. If you have any questions regarding some tutorial videos, you can join the Discord and we could talk about it there. And it's going to be the easiest way for you to get a hold of me to actually talk to me instead of waiting for me to reply on the comments because I get a lot of comments some of the videos in that all uh, all those comments get lost when I have a lot of coming in so it would be better if you guys join my discourse and you guys can ask me questions in there all right so we're gonna click on save I'm gonna put a 1080p to see it's actually upscale properly if not you guys should run the game but only at 1x so let's see uh, okay right now you see right here the top corner it actually gave me like a small screen so the proper way right now to run this game will be a uh, native resolution because when you run the game at the native resolution you actually get access to the full screen but the game is actually right now i'm not too deep into the game so i will have to reload one of my save to see how it perform in later stages of the game but leaving it at 1x and doing these changes right here to make it look a little bit more sharper it actually run properly but sadly we cannot upscale the game as it is yet because it's still haven't done any testing in this game as you guys can see right here in the compatibility they only have some of the other games right here that they were testing and it's on like this is the one that i have this is a different version region and it says that only goes into the menu but for with this version the one that i'm using i was able to go beyond the menu i actually could get into the game and do some gameplay inside here actually As you guys can see, if we do a full screen, we will actually get the full screen experience. It's going to be some audio glitcher here and then. And the reason why it looks like this, again, it's running on native resolution. But so far, you can actually boot into this game. You have the US version of it and it's playable. Once again, this game is not fully compatible yet. Uh, this needs to be a little bit more testing needs to be done and also uh, i need to get a little bit more ahead in the game to see how it performs but for what i tested in this in this area alone it actually runs and it stays around 30 frames per second so once again guys if you find this video helpful please make sure to drop a like and subscribe and if you have any question you can leave it down below in the comments and i also recommend you to join my discord you can uh, you can get a hand on me right away in there as i been helping some people on my discord already so once again guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one